Good morning, everybody. Fiona Pearman and Kate Bora from Core Confidence here. And this week, we're talking about your authentic personal brand. This is a little bit different to what we might think of when we talk about personal brand. And it's really about how are we visible to stakeholders, how are we known and recognised for our great work, and how do we do that in a way that feels congruent and authentic to us? Yeah, I think whenever we talk about being visible, being seen, building brand and profile, people will always say to us, well, why do I have to do that? Why doesn't my week work speak for itself? Um, why, you know, why isn't my loyalty enough? Like all of these sorts of conversations. And I think inherently um, there is a lot of discomfort around um, being seen and, you know, perhaps standing out and all of those sorts of things um, that come with perhaps having to advocate or um, promote yourself. Um, and, and so I think for most people that feels uncomfortable. The challenge, of course, is if you're not doing it, other people are. And so in a world where, of course, being great at what you do, knowing this stuff, all of those things are important, but we often say they're a ticket to the game, right? And that you have to, in a very busy world where stakeholders have a lot to focus on, a lot to get done, um, and, uh, you know, and kind of this, this orientation that humans are very, you know, focused on themselves, right, most of the time. Um, we have to do something that makes sure that those people that matter, those decision makers, those stakeholders um, have access to the information that is relevant to them. And that information around you being great at who you are and what you do and the contribution you make, the problems you solve, is really important information for them to have in terms of them making great decisions around resourcing, projects, promotions, all of those sorts of things. And I think the piece here is how do you get cut through? You know, we know people are busy. We've got something to share. How do we actually get cut through? How do we get our message across to the people that matters? And often we're worried about, you know, what will they think and what will I do and will I be seen as self-promoting? And we, we start having all these conversations. And what we've found, the more work we've done with this in groups with women is actually the most powerful way to share more of yourself is to reveal more of who you are. So it's not so much that we need to go and get something or we need to package something or we need to do it that way. It's more getting in touch with, well, what is it that I really do and how do I do that well? And how can I share that in a way that's meaningful to me? I can tell a great story. I can involve people in what it was I did and what the impact was. And it feels as though I'm doing something that, is worthwhile for me, but also for the person I'm communicating with. And the more that we do this, the more that we are conscious of and willing to make that contribution, it may feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, the more that we do speak up and share something, share that story, position ourselves around, you know, that time, you know, there was this challenge, this went on and we were able to solve it. And I did this, the more we can put ourselves in the center of it in a way that is true and real. And we do this, we're going to be making a contribution. We're going to be ensuring that people know more about what we do, uh, both our teams, but also more broadly in the organisation. So the more we can contribute, the easier it becomes, I think. it's a, Like anything, it's a bit of a practice the more we do it. Yeah, I think the opportunity in the language we often use here is to do it from a place of authenticity, uh, which is what is it that um, you know, and, and part of that is, you know, for some people, the, there's a need to be able to figure out how to articulate that, what's good language, all of those sorts of things. We're going to talk more about that in later um, uh, Facebook Lives this month. Um, and so don't let that be a barrier. But I think the important piece here is recognising um, perhaps where am I not being seen? Where am I not being visible? With whom? Um, and what is that costing me? I think that's the piece we want you reflecting on to start with um, because that it absolutely is costing you, whether it's in access to opportunities, whether it's in um, consideration around um, promotions or projects that you could be involved in, um, you know, whether it's recommendations to um, be on panels or um, be considered for other opportunities. Um, it's really crucial because if someone can't see you, if, if decision makers in an organisation can't see you, can't see the value you bring, the problems you solve, then on some level you are invisible. And so if you're invisible, you're less likely to get access um, to opportunities. And so this is really about being able to 
show the world in a really authentic way, in a way that isn't about ego, um, isn't about being pretending that you're something that you're not, um, in a really authentic way. And that's why we have to find a way that works for you. Um, We have to find a message that works for you um, or what you're really comfortable sharing, but a way of doing it. But you absolutely can do that. It is possible um, for you to do it. But not doing it is really not an option, particularly in the world that we live in. And I think particularly at the moment in the world of COVID where many of us are working from home. And so we're not having all of those anecdotal moments in big meetings where perhaps um, we are visible to people and we can, you know, we can join in and have a conversation at the end or we've got those lift moments or those foyer moments or those sorts of things. Um, You know, I think it's really important. And I think the other thing I'm going to say, Fee, is, you know, this isn't just a, I'm going to work on my personal brand this month and then that's it. This is something that we need to be focused on a daily and weekly basis. Yes. I think that the um, the idea here is that what's something I could do each and every week? What's that one small thing I could do around my authentic personal brand? How could I reveal a little bit more of myself, share a little bit more with someone who matters? And just to be conscious of that and doing it. And if you are prepared to make that small contribution, that small act each and every week, it'll be surprising what the ripple effect of that is. We've seen this time and time again, you know, paying attention to this and being prepared to experiment, to try things often leads to some intel and insight that means it becomes easier over time. Um, I know that's certainly true for me. The more we've done these, Kate, the more we've shown up, the more um, the easier it's got in terms of just the willingness to do it. And I think that is a really powerful piece. Yeah, fantastic. All right, we're going to leave it there. Um, If you know someone who could benefit from today's confidence conversation or any of our other confidence conversation, please tag them below or share um, this with them in your network. Um, If you'd like to be notified when we go live, please um, like our Facebook page and, of course, head over there. Lots of great resources, videos, loads of videos um, for you to dive into. And if you'd like to go deeper with your relationship with Core Confidence, please visit our website, coreconfidence.com.au.